Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I'm going to make it pretty short and I just want to cover a small topic because someone emailed me last week asking about this and I thought it would be nice to cover. So what I'm covering in this video is how to handle date formats using WT Forms. So here I have just a really basic date field. Uh, if I type in random values, it returns not a valid date value. So if I typed in a date like this, let's say 9-26-2016 and then I submitted it, I still get not a valid date value. That's because the format that I have set up is not correct. So the format that I have here is capital Y, M, and D with dashes in between. So what that means is I have to start with a year. So the year would be 2016, then a dash, and then I need a month so the two digit month code in this case it would be 09 followed by uh, the day which is 26 so if I type it that way 2016-09-26 and I submit it then it tells me that the form was successfully submitted so just know in your date formats that this is the uh, that's what it means so Y capital Y is the year M is the month and D is the date so I'll change this a little bit to make it a little more clear. Let's use standard American dates. So let's do month slash day slash year. I'll save that and I'll restart it. So if I submit the date that I just did, so 2016-09-26, and I log in, it now tells me that it's not valid because I just changed the format. So now I need to do 09 slash 26 slash 2000. 16 and now it lets me submit the form so if I change this to the HTML5 version you'll see that it will look different so I'll refresh the page and now I have this so it's a date picker and I let's say I pick the 22nd and I do it it tells me it's not a valid date value but this is the format that I have right well not exactly so let's open up the developer tools and let's go to the network tab and send a request using this again if I send the request and I look at it let's see where the request data is the form data the date format is here entry date so 2016-09-22 so I have to change it to that because this date field this HTML5 date field gets converted into this 2016-09-22 uh, when it gets sent over in the post request so if I change the format again to percent capital Y dash percent lowercase m percent lowercase d and save it and then I'll refresh and select the date again if I hit login now it works because the format matches so that's really all I want to cover in this video, just how to handle those formats, because I know there's not a lot of documentation on what those uh, formats mean in WT Forms. So if you're using class WT Forms or just WT Forms in general, uh, this is how date formats work in the date field. It's pretty similar for uh, time as well. Just know that you use capital H, capital M, capital S, but the format is uh, the same. It follows the same structure, I just say. So. That's it for this video. If you have any questions about these date fields, just let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you next time.